products let me open up a not that window but this one okay we got three new products this week uh and here they are get ready for it there we go uh so three new products the first one is this pack of the little slide potentiometer knobs or rubber nubbins um, and I thought I had one right here. I forgot it. So these are the nubs that come on some of our potentiometers. I think some of our, when you buy some of our slide pots, they come with these little nubs, but maybe you lost one. Maybe you need extras. Maybe you've gotten some slide pots that don't have them. Uh, this will, uh, this will solve that problem for you. It's cheap. You get a pack of three for 95 cents. Uh, I'm just going to check one place real quick. Two places real quick. Hold on. I might have. I have some little demo projects in a couple bins right here. If you've ever wondered what's all that stuff behind me, some of it is these demo projects. And do any of them have a slide pot? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. No, I don't think they do actually. Oh wait, hold on. Last one I'll check, no. All right, sadly I don't, but you get the idea there. They're little cute knob uh, nubbins that allow you to not put a dent in your finger because the uh, what the slide pots have is a little metal stabby bit that you don't really wanna hurt yourself on. Uh, next up, this one I actually do have. Um, this is, oh, a little, little question from the chat, DJ Devin 3 So whatever happened to that line on the Alps cap touch nubs? Uh, we haven't found anywhere to buy those yet. I, I bought a few off of like an eBay seller in Germany or something like that, but we haven't, we haven't found any of the capacitive touch uh, ones in the wild uh, from a wholesale distributor. Uh, next, we've got this. Uh, 2.8 inch TFT LCD with cap touch. Uh, and this has iSpy on it. Uh, I've got one right here. Let me show you this beautiful looking display. We can do an unboxing of it. In fact, I don't have any code running on anything that I can actually start it up. Uh, but maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll have that next time. So let's take out this. Uh, by the way, if, if you're not where this usually this pink uh, bubble wrap or pink bags are anti-static. Um, so that's why you'll see a lot of Adafruit stuff come in that. It's a little safer than your average plastic. Uh, this has a little uh, peel off on there. I'm gonna leave that on. Uh, so this is a gorgeous, uh, what, did, what did we say it was a 320 by 240 pixel display? I think it is. Uh, just checking here, we'll have that listed. It is a mystery. I think it's 320-240. It's probably in the learn guide. We can go check that in a second. Uh, this is a uh, iSpy compatible, so you can use this little ribbon cable here, a little ribbon connector to plug that in, rather than dealing with all this jazz, all these pins here. Um, it has the SD card slot on it. That also goes over the iSpy ribbon cable. Uh, and this has capacitive touch, so you can use this for little uh, interactive projects, drawing, make a display that you can pick buttons on, all those good things. Uh, so this has previously been, I think we had a, a version of this without the uh, uh, iSpy connector. Now we've got iSpy connector on it as we iSpy connector all the things. Uh, and yeah, Kiyoshi in the chat says, yes, it's through 2240 or 240 by 320, if you go that way or that way. Um, so that is our uh, new display. And let me bring this window back up over here. Uh, last thing, whoa, what happened to, let me go back to products. 
Oh, we got new things. We got new, new things that I'm not even aware of. Okay, we'll go back and, and play with those. those. Those have gone in the store since I, uh, since I was prepping for this. Uh, this is a cool one. This is actually a more info and more coming soon. Uh, but this is a product that's a collaboration between uh, Adafruit and Kelly Heaton, which is a, I think it's a six oscillator songbird song uh, 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 generator. So it creates bird song uh, using, uh, I think it's 5A stable oscillators and a sixth one that's a different type of oscillator. Uh, this is gorgeous. You can see this beautiful uh, PCB here. And uh, this, Kelly has done uh, a bunch of projects in the past uh, about uh, birdsong and using a deep fake uh, algorithm to um, analyze the, the birdsong that our oscillators were, were creating to find out if it was similar to a bird in the wild, which it is. It's actually the night jar, which is how this got its name. Um, and this one also has some inputs uh, that'll allow it to be controlled by outboard gear, such as Eurorack. So, so for example, I am guessing that this odds module right here could be a very interesting way to uh, inject some different notes uh, into the bird song, sort of fundamental uh, pitches to work from, which is pretty cool. Um, and what else? That's all I'm going to say about it. So, so this once we get one of these in to, to demo, we'll, we'll show it to you, but go check out Kelly Heaton's work uh, if you're interested in more, uh, more about these gorgeous bird song generators. So that's a, that's a coming soon. Uh, if you wanna get ones, I'm not sure how many we're gonna be selling, but if you wanna get one, uh, you can click on that notify me link in the, uh, in the description there and, and put your email in and then you'll, you'll find out as soon as that's available. Um, so new stuff. Hey, these are some new uh, snap action wiring block connectors. These look great. I know nothing about them because I'm seeing them right now. Uh, they remind me of the Wago connectors. Um, and we, we have a three to nine wiring block connector. We have a two to six. Uh, so this is a way to sort of Y splice off one, one into multiple. Uh, so you can go from one to three with three different inputs or one to three with two different inputs or uh, just one to one, and uh, I'm gonna pick some of those up. Those look great. I love these types of types of connectors for uh, for wiring up projects. Uh, and then uh, last one on here we have is a MOSFET driver for motor solenoids, LEDs, etc. This is a uh, JST three pin. I believe this is uh, similar to one that we have had in the past for our um, bonsai. Uh, which is a, a water pump driver for, for plants. So uh, that's another one that's coming soon. Um, and uh, I will uh, I'll find out more about those because those are pretty cool, pretty, uh, pretty useful for driving powerful stuff without having to construct your own circuit. Uh, and that is all I can say about new products. New, 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 new